Praise the Lord. This is Pastor Evangelist David Horn from Ontario, California. I am so excited in this Harvest Celebration program that God is about to release some great things that's going to take place. What if I would ask you a question, you pastors, if you can see the, your church to double, triple, or quadruple in 90 days? If you're really interested, pay close attention because we're going to be talking about the power of your confession. The Bible says death and life is in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. I'm so excited right now because your season is about to change in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to Harvest Celebration with Pastor David Horn, Senior Pastor of Life Changing Ministries Family Worship Center in Ontario, California. Praise the Lord, this is Bishop David Horn of Ontario, California. I pastor Life Changing Ministries. Uh, the church address is 1801 East D Street in Ontario, California. I am excited of this Harvest Celebration. What is Harvest Celebration? It is a, a campaign of 90 days of intensive uh, work with the entire church to invite people, amen, through the heart of soul winning. Do you know the heartbeat of God is soul winning? That's right. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in shall not perish but have everlasting life. I just believe as we are winding down to the dispensation of grace that God is bringing in his harvest. And what my assignment is, a man is to pastors and to churches and also to those individuals that are listening. You want to see your loved ones saved. And I want you to call the number right now. The prayer counselors are waiting for your call. If you call 888-65-2044, that number again is 888-465-2044. We're looking for the Lord to just bless. Amen. It's nothing too hard for God. We've been talking about the series of the power of the word. We started in St. John chapter number one. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. We saw the assigned word. Amen. For an assigned people, for an assigned mission. Jesus Christ, the logos. Amen. The, 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 the God a man fulfilled agenda. The Son of God, a man, came from a thought, and that thought was manifested in St. John chapter number one. A man. Even that word came to his own people, which was the Jewish people, and they received him not. But because of the word, he said, My word will not return unto me a void, but it will accomplish the mission that I've, a man, had it set out to do. That word became flesh. Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. The Son of God. And those that believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The, the two, two groups we're working with. Number one, we want to reach pastors that want to see your ministry grow and blossom and want to see the entire church. Amen. Invite people to church. Number two, you believer that's been just praying, you want to see loved ones saved, amen, relatives and friends and neighbors, call the number, amen. We've had just several calls, amen, throughout our program. People have called, we've heard testimonies, healings and deliverance there because of the power of the word of God. That original word is Jesus Christ, amen. Manifest it. Everything is in the Godhead bodily. It's in Jesus once we tap in to the word of the Lord. We were going to Matthew chapter number 13 and we we're talking about the sower on last week and we want to continue to talk about the sower, which is the word of God. St. John chapter number 13 and verse number three. And he spake many things unto them in parables. Amen. Parables are stories. Amen. Uh, natural stories that bring spiritual. Amen. Bounty. Amen. A revelation. Amen. Because when we look at the natural, we can reflect towards the visual thing. And Jesus used simple stories to get an impact. Verse number uh, four says, and when he had sown, some seed fell by the wayside and the fowls came and devoured. And some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth. And forthwith they sprung up because they had no depthness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched because they had no root and they withered away. And some fell among thorns and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But others fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold and some thirtyfold. Who has an ear 
to hear, let him hear. This particular story, amen, deals with the passage on how the word of God, amen, comes in the hearts of men and women and how the word, if it's properly heard and properly understood, that it will bring forth fruit 30, 60, and 100 fold. I don't know who I'm speaking to today, but I'm speaking to someone right now. You're on the brink of a breakthrough right now. You're on a brink that God is going to save that unsaved loved one. For years you've been praying and I want you to know that God is working behind the scenes and I speak this same word, amen, that he says. He said the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life in the name of the Lord. I want you to call the number right now, 888-465-2044 and we want to pray. Matter of fact, I want to pray right now for that loved one right now that's not saved, amen, or that backslider right now. Father, we thank you and we bless you and we praise you, God, because a sower went out and have sown the seed already in God in the name of Jesus. And we're wait, waiting for that good soil that will produce 30, 60, 100 fold. I pray with my brother and sister and touch and agree right now that that person shall not die, but live and declare the works of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Satan, you meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. That person is going to be saved. We claim that individual in the name of Jesus Christ not by power nor by might, but by the spirit of the living God in the name of Jesus. We claim it in Jesus name. Amen. 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 That soil is now ready. That word that you are looking, you're hearing the word that's coming out of my mouth. Something is triggering in your spirit to let you know you don't have to wait for the battle to be over. You can rejoice now. We rejoice now. We calm those things which be not as though they were. But the amen. The scripture says here, he, he said, who has an ear, let him hear. Amen. The powerful tools that God has given us, amen, to receive the word of God is through our ear gates, through our eye gates, through our confession of our mouth, amen. And that goes down to the soul of our heart. And as we, amen, get that word in our spirit, in our belly, hallelujah to God, it will declare something, a life-changing event. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has says, out of his belly, out of his his innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. And I declare flowing in your life, in your ministry, pastor, God is going to bring, amen, this to pass. Hallelujah to God. I declare they're coming from the north, south, east, and west in Jesus' name, sinners that are looking, amen, for your ministry. I declare right now for that loved one that have a son or a daughter, amen, doesn't seem like they're coming back to the Lord, but I declare it to you right now that God is making a difference in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. This is Bishop David Horn. I'm excited for Harvest Celebration. This program is designed with you in mind. Amen. We're reaching out. Amen. To the loss at any cost. And we're believing in the power of the word and the words he said that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. We're doing damage in the kingdom, in Satan's kingdom right now in the name of Jesus. He don't like hearing this, but we're believing. Amen. That God's word is doing exceedingly abundantly above all we can imagine or think of the power of God that worketh in us in Jesus name. Amen, amen, and amen. Hello again. I'm so excited about the Harvest Celebration and the whole mandate that God has given us assignment is about the expansion of the kingdom of God through soul winning, seeing lives change and going to the churches throughout uh, the United States and sharing what God has given me through Revelation. Um, if you want to know more about the Harvest Celebration, I want you uh, to uh, purchase this book, uh, double, triple, quadruple uh, your, uh, 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 your size of your church in 90 days, and this book will be a blessing. Or if you want uh, a DVD, I'm willing to donate a DVD uh, talking about a little bit, little bit about the harvest, and so you can pray about it. And if you want to do Harvest Celebration yourself, you can do it yourself. Or if you want me to come and do Harvest Celebration, I would be glad to come. So you can check our website, harvestcelebration.us, or you can call the, uh, the number below and we can get in contact and we can talk to you about expanding the kingdom of God through soul winning in Jesus name. Welcome back believer. I'm just so excited. This is the harvest celebration program and you know the whole purpose of it is to see uh, the kingdom of God advance and to see souls saved and that's what God has assigned me to do. 
I've been all over the country, amen, big churches, small churches, medium-sized churches, sharing this concept of a 90-day campaign, getting the entire church embracing and inviting people through the power of invitation, amen. I've seen hundreds of souls saved. On last year, we reached over 25,000 people. This year, we want to double it to 50,000 people that we invite people to church. We've gone to these churches, amen, and we encourage the members just to open an invitation uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to call, amen, if you have loved ones that you want to see saved, we have the phones are just lighting up, people are calling, amen, for their loved ones to be saved in the name of the Lord. And I also want to make a special appeal to you, Pastor, that it's not by accident, amen, that you are watching me, amen, it's by divine appointment, amen, and I'd like you to call, I personally like to speak to you and talk to you. If you like further information concerning Harvest Celebration, you want to uh, visit our website, harvestcelebration.us. Again, harvestcelebration.us. We have all the information you can get. We have a special book, uh, double, triple, and quadruple Harvest Celebration, and it's the content on is how to double and triple your church. Yes, in 90 days. No joke, no fun, no pun ended, uh, but as the Holy Spirit gave me these particular principles there that we can uh, uh, work by. I just want to just give some more statistics. Amen. We talked about it in our last program. 82% of the unchurched are leastly somewhat likely to attend uh, the church if they are invited. Amen. Only 2%, 2% of the church members uh, invite the unchurched person to come to church. Uh, I was telling you about that story about the senior pastor with the young evangelist and they were out in the parking lot and he was talking with them. He said as he was waving to uh, the members, no one was uh, in the back seat. No one was being invited and he was talking to the young evangelist, he said, watch them. They gonna wave back at me. And while he was waving, they was bringing no one to church. When was the last time that you invited, use your car, your vehicle, amen, to bring someone to the church so they can hear the awesome word of God preach and give them an opportunity, amen, to be saved. Uh, we can start today, amen, by you calling that number, 888-465-2044 uh, there, and watch God do some, some, some incredible things. We're gonna go right to the back to the Word of God. We talked about Matthew chapter number 13 and how Jesus began to speak this parable in Matthew 13 and how the sower sows, amen, the Word of God. And he says, amen, uh, in verse number eight, but others fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, a hundredfold, sixtyfold, and thirtyfold. And he says, who has an ear to hear, let him hear. And so what we do, we throw seed out, we throw seed out, we throw seed out. Why are we throwing seed out? Because we're going to get a harvest of souls, amen, going. We understand, amen, the Bible says, be not deceived, God is not mocked. Whatever man soweth, whatever man invested, amen, he shall, shall reap. He said, be not weary in well-doing, for you shall reap if you faint not. Uh, just moving very quickly to the book of Genesis chapter number one. And, you know, uh, here in Genesis chapter number one, it speaks in verse number 11. Amen. He says in the beginning in verse one, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness moved upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. Verse 1, the creation. Verse 2, something happened. Verse 3, God speaks a word and brings back into fruition, amen, what he wants. Everything that God did, he spoke a word. Let's look here. He says in verse number six, God said. In verse number nine, God said. In verse number 14, God said. In verse number uh, 20, and God said, amen. Everything that God created, he spoke a word and said it. But here in verse number 11 of Genesis chapter number one, he said, and God said, let the earth bring forth uh, forth grass, herb yielding seed, and fruit tree yielding fruit after its kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. So there's no lack. When God created the earth, he created a man with provision. Hallelujah to God. Remember uh, what comes first? Spiritual, then natural. Hallelujah to God. And so God spoke it in the invisible, it manifested in a man, the physical realm. And he says in verse number 12, and the earth 
brought forth grass. Why? Because God said it. And herb yielding seed after its same kind. Why? Because God said it. Whose tree yielding fruit, whose seed was is in itself and its kind. And God saw that it was good. How is that relevant to soul winning? Amen. The word of God is seed. And so when the word of God is preached, amen, and it receives in the hearts of men and women with conviction and with passion, hallelujah to God, and is received with faith, hallelujah to God, then God brings the harvest of soul. He said the harvest is plenteous, but the labors are few. Pray to the Lord of harvest that he might send forth labors in the vineyard. So when we get more labors, we get more harvest. When we position ourselves of throwing seed out. Amen. And knowing that we throw seed out with the spirit of expectation, we can see what God, amen, does. The power of the word is this word. And once it's properly sown in the hearer ears and is confessed, amen. This book of the law or the Torah, amen, he says in Joshua chapter number one, shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate. Meditate, the Hebrew meditate means to mutter. It means to regurgitate, amen. As we believe God, as I'm speaking now, somebody's getting saved. Somebody's calling right now, amen, and getting saved. Call that number right now, 888-465-2044. I'm so excited about what God is doing. We just have to speak the word, believe it, and God will bring it to pass. I want to go back to the word of the Lord found in the book of Acts chapter number two and showing you how the word of God was preached and how God brought a man a harvest of soul. Peter is preaching here in Acts chapter number two and he's preaching, amen, God did some incredible things and Acts. The Holy Spirit fell, amen, in Jerusalem, amen. They're mesmerized with the Holy Spirit. The diverse types of tongues come, and Peter preached a few minutes, amen, and notice what took place in Acts 2 and 37. Now, when they heard this, they were cut in their hearts, and they said, men and brothers, what shall we do? Hallelujah to God. Here, this message Peter preached. When he preached the gospel, their ears were open, their eyes saw, and what happened? Souls were saved. Over 3,000 souls were saved because of this preached word. Amen. This powerful word in Jesus' name. Amen. Experience church growth within 90 days with the Harvest Celebration Church Growth Strategy. If you want your church to grow and the old days of going door to door are not working for you, the Harvest Celebration Campaign is what you need. We give you tools to succeed in causing exponential growth within your congregation, not in years, but in just days, with results you can measure. You can ignite the fire of evangelism in your church by simply embracing the power of invitation. Reconnect the congregation with the real mission of the church, soul winning. Ask about one of our Harvest Celebration kits or invite Pastor Horn to your ministry today to receive hands-on training in effective evangelism with proven results. Go to our website, read our client testimonials, then call us to get started with the Harvest Celebration campaign at your church. To find out more about the Harvest Celebration Church Growth Strategy, go to harvestcelebration.us. Please call 1-800-723-7471. Yes, hello again, uh, believer. We just thank God that uh, you are part of this Harvest Celebration uh, service, and we just want to encourage you. If you want to be uh, a partner, uh, we ask you to just sow a, a seed of $30, and we will give you our book. We will give you a DVD. And if you would like to sponsor a program, uh, feel free to call. Amen. What this Harvest Celebration, the whole mission of it is to get churches involved, members involved, of just in bringing people, inviting people to church church. Amen. Also to encourage the pastor and also for you right now been praying. Some of you have been fasting for loved ones to be saved. Amen. Uh, sons and daughters that are out of the ark of safety and mother you've been praying. It's something about a praying mother. When a mother fix in on faith and pray, amen, that son is going to get saved. Uh, uh, our whole family is a direct result because of prayer. I lived in Los Angeles. Amen. All of my life I lived in Compton. Amen among the Crips and Bloods, amen, living in the projects, hallelujah to God, amen, but thank God
God for the prayers of the saints. Pray, thank God for a praying mother. Amen. Should have been dead long time ago, but that power of the word, that seed, amen, will accomplish as he says in Isaiah chapter number 55, and it will not return unto its void. And so we talked about this harvest, amen, celebration on, on uh, the first segment. We talked about Matthew chapter number 13 and how the word works and how the sower goes out and sows seed. And there's some seed that falls by the wayside and the fowls of the air come and get that uh, uh, seed before it gets in the ground. Some seed fall in ground, amen, that has, amen, not enough foundation or even the thorns come, but some seed is, is sown that it gets to good soil, good intention. Someone's heart is open to receive the gospel. The heartbeat of God is soul winning. Call that number right now. We want to pray for the loved one that's not saved, the backslider. If you need healing, call the number 888-465-2044. Also, Pastor, if you want more information uh, uh, to on, on Harvest, the Harvest Celebration, amen, visit our website, harvestcelebration.us, amen, and get all the information uh, that you need. But we want to move on. We move from Matthew chapter 13. We're found in the book of Acts chapter number two. What has happened here in verse number one, the Holy Spirit has come. The, the promise of the Father has come and the diverse types of tongues are coming. God knows how to get our attention through signs, one and miracles. What does that do? It opens the ear. It opens the eye gates. It opens our heart. Amen. And through this in Acts chapter number two, Peter preached, amen, just a few minutes about the death, burial, and resurrection. He gives us an alternative, amen, a message. And the Bible says here in Acts chapter number two, in verse number 37, and now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. They were cut in their heart. Amen. And said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brothers, what shall we do? Amen. We realize, amen, we made a great mistake. We crucified the word of God. What do we mean? He said in St. John chapter number one, amen, verse number 14, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. He came unto his own and his own received him not. Amen. We thought we were doing a good deed, but we messed up. What shall we do? And then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. He said, for the promises unto you and to your children and to all those that are far off as many as our Lord our God shall call. And with many other words, he testified and exhorting, save yourself from this untowards generation. Amen. Hallelujah to God. They heard this word and they were pricked. And the Bible says, and then they gladly received his word. They had an open ear. Amen. And were baptized. And the same day were added unto them. Amen. About 3,000 souls. That is harvest celebration in its finest sense. Amen. And I, I just tell you, as we preach the word of God, the power of the word of God with passion and with conviction, amen, people's lives will be changed and God showed increase, amen, during this particular time in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's somebody you're going through, you're ready to throw in the towel, but I want to tell you, amen, pick up the phone right now. God has a word for you, amen. You shall not die, but you shall live and declare the works of God. I pray for you, Pastor, right now that God is changing your season right now and there will be signs, wonders, and miracles that will take place right even now. Something is triggering in your belly right now, in your spirit. The enemy is telling you to give up, but just preach that gospel, amen, that good news, amen, of Jesus Christ and watch God move, amen, right now in the name of Jesus. Watch God do some incredible things here and every time you get the word, Amen. It's planted in the ground. Hallelujah to God. God sends the water. He sends the rain. There's rain coming to your church. Hallelujah to God. And once that word goes into the, in, the, the, uh, the, the, the soil of the heart, it will produce. And this word that I'm speaking to you right now is going to produce because you're going to go back to your church fired up. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The phones are lighting up. People are calling. Amen. I'm believing God for over 200 calls. We've got just so many calls 
because they've called a whole hour. We'll be here an hour after this broadcast in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Call that number 888-465-2044. Amen. And watch God move. Jesus said the words that I speak is life. Hallelujah to God. I'm speaking to you this word, this word life right now, life in your church, life in your job, life in your community, life in your body, life, the word of God, which is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Hallelujah to God. Harvest celebration. We're celebrating the harvest. We're celebrating souls being saved, just like in Acts of the Acts chapter number two. Amen. These souls saved. And even after that, and they had all things in common and they shared the word of God. The Bible says here that, amen, he says, and they gladly received his word. Verse 41, and were baptized in the same day, were added unto them 3,000. And they continue steadfast in the apostles' doctrine and in fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayer. Hallelujah to God. And fear came upon every soul, amen, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles and all that believed were together and had all things in common and sold their possession and goods and parted to them, as, 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 to all men, and as every man had needed, and they continued daily with one accord in the temple, breaking bread house to house, and did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people, and the Lord added to the church daily, such as to be saved. When we have that one mind, that one purpose, and we call those things which be not as though they were, God I will send them from the north, south, east, and west. My God, today, I'm so excited that you're listening to us. Call us right now, 888-465-2044. Amen. Further information, visit our website, harvestcelebration.us. God bless you. Become a Harvest Partner by sowing to advance the kingdom through soul winning. With a $30 seed, you receive the Harvest Book and DVD. Double, triple, or quadruple your church attendance in 90 days. Or invite Pastor Horn to your church for his membership and guidance through all three phases of the campaign, leading up to the Harvest Celebration Sunday. To order your copy of Harvest Celebration or to invite Pastor Horn to your church, visit our website at harvestcelebration.us. Join Pastor Horn every Sunday at Life Changing Ministries, 1801 East D Street, Ontario, California. Service time is 11 a.m. And be sure to watch Harvest Celebration with Pastor David Horn every Wednesday at 6 p.m. right here on the Church Channel. I'm just so excited that you, you, you tuned in on the Harvest Celebration. My hearts are out for pastors, amen, and leaders that want to see uh, an impact in their community and you want to see souls saved. If you like further information, visit the website harvestcelebration.us and I'd like to make a personal invitation those that are in the IE to visit our church, uh, Life Changing Ministry, 1801 East D Street in Ontario, California. That's 91761. Remember this, hallelujah to God, that if you believe God, God will work it out for you in Jesus' name, amen. For prayer requests or more information on Harvest Celebration or to sow a seed to this ministry, visit our website at harvestcelebration.us. Thanks for watching Harvest Celebration with Pastor David Horn. Please be sure to tune in every Wednesday at 6 p.m. right here on the Church Channel.